Zelda Link's Awakening. I'm so excited for this game, finally. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at this art style. It looks like something straight out of Fisher Price. Wow. His little link all washed up on the shore. Wow, I'm so psyched for this. Can't wait to see what this game is like. Wait, hang on a minute. Normal or hero? Take twice as much damage but with no heart drops uh, for advanced players. Huh. Hmm. I think we're going to go for normal first playthrough. Yeah, we're going to go for normal first playthrough and uh, who knows, maybe we'll do like a master challenge type thing. This is probably going to be the first 2D Zelda game that I complete, because uh, I've tried a couple. Tried uh, Zelda 2, uh, the first Legend of Zelda as well, and uh, Oracle of Seasons, and I never managed to complete any of them. Koho Lint Island. And we've got Marin instead of Zelda. Hi Marin. That's it. Let's check, so what do we check now? Goomba. Taryn. Hi, Taryn. Oh, well, that was quick. I got the Highland Shield straight away. Nice. Let's see what else is around in this room. <laughs> Looks like, uh, what's his name again? Taryn? Yeah, Taryn's not happy with me snooping around. Look at these pictures as well. I mean, this, this room is decorated so nicely. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be able to lift this at some point later on in the game. So I don't even want to leave this room. It's just, it looks amazing. I spent hours just looking at all the little details, but uh, let's crack on. Mabe Village. Little, little chicken. <laughs> now, what happens if I throw it here in the water? Oh, well, so you can't throw it. You can only you can put it down, it looks like. Oh, no, hang on. You can throw it. Also, oh, it went really far this time, so it looks like you can't throw it in the water. No. Alright, well, there we go. Okay, so, I mean, just look at this art style, it's so gorgeous. Huh. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be able to get here at some point later. Look at this little fox. Hello, Foxy. Little butterflies. It's got this sort of like a uh, soft focus um, kind of feel, but at the same time looking very HD. Um, I guess we'll just explore the town a little bit. So I never played the original Link's Awakening, so for me this is uh, a brand new experience. Ah. Mamasha. The Yoshi doll. Uh, 
Huh. So apparently this was the first uh, Zelda game, or maybe one of the only Zelda games that has so much crossover with uh, other Mario games. I've heard you've got Goombas and Chomp Chomps. Yoshi as well. Shy Guy. And just the, the design of these. I mean, look at even these cute little drawings on the wall on the left-hand side. They're so gorgeous. So much detail here. Right, so we're not going to be able to lift this. No, there we go. Uh, but we can check this as well. What's this? A stand for something. Pokey. Hmm. Okay, so we find something called a Pokey. We can bring it back here. Can we hop down? Yes, we can. All right. The flying rooster. Can we interact with the fox? Yes, you can. Oh, that's cute. This is adorable. Okay, so we've explored the north of the village. Uh, that's the place we came from. Now, can this chomp chomp hurt me? Hello, Mr. Chomp Chomp. So it looks like it can't hurt you. Hmm. And here are the twins, maybe? From the other family we met just now? Press minus to look at the island map. Stick pins with A and remember stuff with X. Okay. So let's actually check out the map. What can we see right now? Okay, so we're all the way down in the southwest. And so if we want it to go, for example, uh, here. Oh, I see. So you can just choose... So what's a little bit like in uh, like in uh, Breath of the Wild? Now let's put that there, for example. Got memories markers. All right. I'm going here. Village library. So this is like um, like a training thing. Okay, so it just tells you the mechanics, how things work. Okay. Well, I think we'll just try to find things out by kind of messing around. I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. Good to know you've got somewhere to go to uh, to learn a thing or two about how the game works. <laughs> Madame Meow Meow. <laughs> what? My Bow Wow is so pr proud of his lined fur coat. Is she talking about the little baby Chomp Chomp? <laughs> That's hilarious. I think she's got like a little chopping board as well for her veg and uh, a basket full of uh, chicken eggs. Some tins as well and this uh, tropical plant. And this is just adorable. <laughs> oh my god. You guys see this? She's got like a little picture of a chomp chomp on top of the chest of drawers. That's adorable. And if you look at these candles on the right hand side wall, you can even see kind of the, the, um, the air heating up. Kind of distorting the um, the area around the candle, uh, around around the flames. I mean, that's the attention to detail is is already mind blowing, and we've barely seen anything. Okay, I'm not sure of this. Okay, so we've got this uh, Deku tree looking uh, installment here. Old man, old Ryra. It's a library. Well, that's a, that's a really nifty little detail. So if you get stuck, you can just go and uh, call good old, Ar old Ryra. Old Ryra, is that how you pronounce it? Not sure. And I think we have... Yeah, there we go. One more... 
household that we haven't been to, I don't think. Okay, so it's a shop. Hello, mister. Shopkeeper. Wait, if I have something I like. Oh, okay, I see. So I've got some empty slots as well. Alright. We'll definitely be back here when we've got a bit more rupees in our wallet. Okay, so we can't go here yet. And here's another one of the uh, the, the little brothers. Okay, so I think we've explored everything we can so far. So there's only south left to explore. So let's go there. Okay, we spoke to this kid already. Alright, so these are presumably the four brothers that the uh, those neighbours were talking about in the other house. Well, have we been to this flat? Flat house? Residence? And I don't think we have, no. Oh, this is Alryra. There we go. <laughs> so he'll only talk to you if you give him a call. That's hilarious. He's got some cactus here, some apples, a teapot, little wooden bowls, and a cauldron on the fire. Love it. We've got some kind of uh, octorok looking thing. Now, how do we use the sh the the, uh, the hiding shield? What do we okay, so we press the shoulder button R, ZR. Okay, either one of these works. Okay, so it doesn't bounce back. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be able to defeat these guys yet. Can we? Can I go down this? This? Uh, yes, you can. Oh no! Because okay, so you're supposed to avoid them. I thought maybe they were going to be like these. Um, you know, those holes you could dig up in Ocarina of Time. Sometimes you could find these. Uh, these like little. I forget what they're called. These like little vegetable monsters uh, selling you like Deku sticks and things like that for extortionate prices. Okay, so again, we've reached another. Yeah, so it looks like we need to keep it. Yeah, another dead end. Alright. Whoa. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, so just watch out. Oh my god. One heart already. Okay, let's see if we can get some health somewhere nearby. Whoa. How can we can we lift these things? Okay, looks like no. So we can't go around here. Alright. So I guess we go. Back up the stairs. Go away. Huh? Okay. Next hit. One more hit and I'm dead. Okay, gotta be super mega ultra careful here. Wait, so this is yet another uh, dead end. Okay, so we must have missed something. So obviously we need... We need a sword to cut through these uh, these bushes blocking our path. But where is the sword? Whoa, dude, dude, whoa, 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 whoa. Please, no, go away, go away. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like we can't lift these uh, coconut-looking things out of the sand. I was wondering if there's some sort of buried treasure here under the the sea, but it looks like there's nothing here. 
car. Where is the... Just leave me alone. God. I don't want to back myself into a corner because then if I get attacked while I'm there. By one of these uh, spiny... There we go. <laughs> no! Can we move these with the shield? Oh, you can move these with the shield. There you go. Alright, okay. Okay, okay. So that changes things. And there we go. Fish. You can't leave the island unless you wake the wind fish. Go north to the mysterious forest. Huh. Thank you very much, Mr. Owl. Alright, so let's take the sword. Yes. It has your name engraved on it. Yes! Alright, we're off to the races. Now, now the game is really starting. Go away, please. Go. Yeah. Run. That's it, run. Okay, now I just want to test one thing. Okay, so that's that's what I thought was going to happen. So if we hit the regular wall... Yeah, so you, the the kind of the clang is sounds a little bit different. Which is the same as in Ocarina of Time. Uh, you, would, you would hear that sound when you hit a wall that you could actually blow up with a bob-omb. Bob-omb or bomb. I'm getting confused between my uh, Nintendo franchise games. Okay, so look, so it like, looks like it's blocking our way. And presumably we're going to be able to sail on some kind of boat or something around the shore. Maybe, at some point. Okay, but it looks like we have to head back. That's a little monkey. Hello, monkey. Why is he attacking me? Are you, are you really... Hang on a minute. Can I... Okay, yeah, so it looks like those, those would hurt you. Go away, please. Rupee! We have a little uh, beach cabin. <laughs> Collecting rare and unusual canned food. Huh. So, can I buy the bananas? Okay, so it looks like. So if we find some kind of rare tint, we bring them back here. Alright. Go away. Go away. Give me those rupees. Well, you know what? I'm sick of you, Octorox. There we go. Thank you. I'm wondering if... Okay, so we came... Alright, so that's where we came from earlier. Now, is there anything... Anything in those bushes? Not this time, but... Keep trying. So we've been told to go north. Let's try this first. I don't know if we can go through the, uh, the north of the village yet. I want to try this first. I 
And so this is the good old spin attack. All right, nice. Okay, yeah, so this is with uh, the key, so we still don't have that. Okay, so it looks like we just head north through Mabe Village. See these apples? I wonder how you get them. There must be a way you can get them, right? The writing is on the other side. That's a neat little detail. Mysterious forest. Moblins ahead. They're not friendly. Ooh, moblins. I didn't realise that moblins were introduced so early on in the series. I thought, um, first time I knew about moblins was in, uh, Twilight of Princess. Okay, so it looks like we're heading the right way. Looks like we are on our way. Now, is this the moblin he was talking about? Okay, so these look a lot like the ones in um, Oracle of Seasons. They didn't realize they were moblins. They look more like, um, like pig creatures. Moblins, to me, always look more like uh, like trolls or. Um, goblins or things like that. There's a little raccoon. Hello, little raccoon. Huh. Very sensitive to dust and powder. Very cryptic. What just happened? Oh, fairy! Alright, well, let's loot this place first. The fairy can wait. We've got we've got important business to attend to. What's this over here? Guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Alright. Can't go through here yet. Now let's see if we are starting to loop back to the fairy. We have a little heart piece. All right, so looks like this is a new area. So let's go back and visit the fairy. See what we can get. This is fantastic. Look at this. What a residence. Mix what? A toadstool mix. Look at this little, uh, ch this little uh, chinchilla type thing we've got going on here. So we can't go through here. Now she said we need some kind of frog breath, or she wants some kind of frog breath, or you know, toad, and some kind of powder that she's making. There was also that 
that other dude who uh, who said he's got a very good nose for powder. I think if we go talk to him, he'll uh, help us find something that we can then. We could have caught a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. I wonder if you can keep both of these powers at once. Now, is there somewhere that we didn't try yet? Okay, so we've got like a tree trunk thing going on there. Can we go through there? That's so rude. That's very rude. So you can budge these boulders. Wait. Well, at least we got somewhere different now. And there we have our Toadstool friend. Yes! Okay, so then we take this to the witch. Go away, please. Alright, so let's take this back to the witch. Wait, is there anywhere else, anywhere else we can go through? No, alright. Ah, look at that. Very nice, very nice. We're moving up in the world. Alright, here we go. some magic powder. Open the subscreen with plus and set it to either Y or X. So that's it. So we've got 20. Right, go away please. Thank you. <laughs> He's going crazy. What? Yeah. A little raccoon telling to Luigi. This is like Super Mario Bros. 3 backwards. I thought it was supposed to be Luigi turning into a raccoon. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wait, so what does that do? Does that mean he just lets me go through now? Yeah, take some time, Luigi. All right. Oh, we got the key. Nice. Okay, so now we can go to the cave down south.
Go away. So before we go down south again, let's just see what we can explore around here. Not some kind of swamp. I'm assuming you can't go in it. Oh, you can go in it. There you go. Can you go through these? Wait, what are these? Okay, so it looks like this is blocked off, except this over here looks like we might be able to get somewhere. Alright, so it's all sealed off by the looks of it. Alright. So it looks like we can't attack these uh, these little piranha jumping mini shark things in the swamp yet. But just see wait, just to wait until we start to get new weapons, toughen up. I'll be back. Now I wonder what this magic powder does. You can use it against enemies. I guess we'll find out. Let's see if we can use it against enemies. Yes, it works! Okay, so that's good to know. It just spontaneously combusts. I didn't. I forgot we had this well, and we have a heart piece. Our very first. Okay, so it looks like it's a a quarter heart piece. Here we go, and this is going to be our first dungeon. Alright, let's head into our first dungeon. Level 1, Tail Cave. So it looks like we can go left or right. Now what's up with these uh, little eye statues? Can we hit them? And here again we have these, uh, these cracked floor tiles. rupees all right I thought it was gonna be a map let's see oh be careful with these okay so looks like we're gonna need another okay so we need a small key whoa 
And I can see straight away we have another little... Over here we have some kind of um, opening there. We can go through if we get the door. Uh, if we get the bomb. And we have a small key. Nice. Can we, it looks like we can use the small keys on any of the doors. So obviously we've got the door. Got the door, door over there at the top of this uh, room. So we can't go through this. Uh, let's actually go through this one. Looks like you need to hit them all so they so they are the same club, right? No, oh, okay. Okay, so let's go for the clubs. No. It's actually pretty tough. Okay, so let's go with the heart this time. Okay, so you got two out of three. Got a chest, nice. How cryptic. The stone beak. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield? Hmm. I don't know which which spine ones he's talking about. Okay, so now we need to go get the other small key. No, to go away. I think there was another room here. Yeah, we could have gone right. And I think that's... Surely that's going to be the map. Right? Ah, the, another small key. Okay. Perfect. Now we have the map. Alright, okay, so it looks like we've done about just under half of the dungeon. So let's let's head Oh so you can go through this way, but not Hang on, can we go through Listen, bat So let's say you can only go through one way. Okay. Understood. door you can't open, move a square block. 
Also, you can move these. You can move these. Huh. Okay, so these are the ones you can turn over with your shield. There you go. These are the spines that we're talking about. And these are exactly like the ones in Super Mario Bros. Turn aside the spine onto the shield. Okay. Alright, so this opened up these uh this staircase. <laughs> Look at the little Goombas. Oh wait, you can't jump on them? And this is cool how it suddenly turned into a 2D uh, platform section. Wait, what is this? Three hearts and two wings. What on earth is that? Now, is this going to be the compass? You have a feather. Rock's feather. Feels like your body is a lot lighter. I wonder what that does. It lets you bounce around like you're weightless. Bounce around like you're weightless. Is there anything we can do with this? Yeah, we just wasted our magic powder. Uh, but it doesn't look like we can interact with this thing whatsoever. Huh. So, do we equip... Oh, there we go. Okay, so we equip it. Alright, okay. Okay, so that now... So the feather now allows us to... You know what? Let's actually swap this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like that more. Okay, so now we can jump over obstacles. Like so. That's pretty cool. Can we push any of these, or... No, it looks like there's only some that you can push. But how can you tell which ones you can and can't? Okay, so... I think we want to go this way. Yeah, there we go. That's it. What on earth is this thing? just happened. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's fairy. Alright. And this is, what, some kind of a healing point? Alright. Dude. Talk about an ambush. And that's the boss door right there. And look at these, uh, these skeletons hanging from these chains on the wall. That's pretty eerie. Now, is there anything we can, apart from these f winged flying heart things, which are really odd, is there anything else we can do here? It doesn't look like it. We've got a platform up there, but... Huh. I mean, look at them. They're even, like, slowly kind of swaying with these chains. Talk about family-friendly Nintendo. So you can jump over them. Okay, that's good to know. Now, okay, we've been here, obviously. Now, 
Now, where else can we go now that we can jump over things like this? I know we can jump over to this side, but it doesn't look like we've got a key that we will need. Yeah, there we go. So we need some kind of key somewhere. Can we jump over these? No. Okay, so let's actually go back I think there, there might be something. Hang on a minute. So where's the map? Hmm. Wait, so if you go back down to this side of the map. Right, okay. Oh, so we haven't been here before. Go away. There's a key right there. So, presumably, we can use this key for that. There you go, that's the compass. Alright. Yeah, okay, so this key, this is going to allow us to go through that little kind of stone key door that we saw just now. There we go. And now we have the boss key. Oh, the nightmare key. We can open the door to the nightmare's lair. So, hold on, so have we... Yeah, so it looks like we've visited every... Every single room in this dungeon, apart from the boss room. So let's head straight over there. If I do, oh, hang on a minute. Okay, so we need to go. There we go. Ah, we're golden. <laughs> what is this thing? Moldorm. Whoa, what Maldon, Mo Maldon, 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 Maldon. We're just getting to know each other, Maldon. Maldon, we meet again. Now, can we defend against this thing with our shield? That's what I'm wondering. Or do we just want to avoid it? Mold on, mold on, mold on. We did it! We did it! Our first boss! And what is this? We got the full, full moon cello.
Well, there we go. Um, this game is so beautiful. It's so perfect for the Switch. I'm so excited. It's been a blast so far. Uh, we're going to end it here for now. And we're going to tune back in for Chapter 2. We're going to head up to the swamps now that we've got the... What is this item called again? The Full Moon Cello. It looks like it's the Ocarina of Link's Awakening. I'm guessing. I don't know. I've never played Link's Awakening before, so don't crucify me if I don't know what everything is. Uh, but what an amazing game it, it's been so far. Real breeze. Really enjoying it. It looks beautiful. Enough rambling. See you guys in the next episode of Link's Awakening. Mm -hmm.